first time using headphones like this and the mic. I look pretty professional, though. You look really professional. Where are you? In Arizona? Arizona. Yes, sir. Are you in Nashville? Nashville, yeah. Nice. I saw you at the fucking Mar-a-Lago for New Year's, fucker. I love that guy. I love him. He, uh, I mean, you. It's, I guarantee you can get an invite easy. Well, I saw, I, I, we went to the White House, and then we went to, we're supposed to play golf um, in West Palm, wherever it is, and then he yeah. canceled two days before. And then um, I saw him last week, though, in, uh, at Trump Minister, at the live event, the golf oh, event. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you, uh, you play, you play, a, you play a shit ton of golf now, aren't you? Yeah, yep. Um, you play, you play it all? I played, I played with him before that New Year's Eve thing. Um, yeah. but I haven't played it. I don't play that much anymore. It's oh, is it because you kids, kids or just kid, no time kids, no time. And now with all this other stuff I've got going on, I mean, I, I was talking to some friends about getting back into it again. Um, yeah. once, once things slow down and when, I think once the kids start not needing, you know, 24 hours of your time, how old are your kids? How old now? are your kids? Same thing to you. <laughs> uh, Cam's Cam's birthday is um, the the eighth, so he's got his party this weekend. He'll be nice. ten. He'll be ten. Fourth grade. Jackson is going into third grade. He's eight, and then Sailor is going into first grade. She's six. Sailor's a girl. So I have a buddy with a daughter, a uh, son named Sailor. Uh, so I have Pamela, who's twenty one. She's a senior. She's a senior at Kansas this year, KU. Uh, Riley is a senior in high school, and Kennedy, my son, is a junior in high school this year. Oh, my I'll, goodness. In the two more years, dude, I'm done. Get them all out of here. It happens fast. It's great. Well, you know that now, especially with as young as they are, and as fast exactly. as it goes by. Are any of them playing sports? Yeah, my, uh, my son has got, like, four offers for football already. No he kidding. Shit. I don't understand how it works, Jay. It makes no sense. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, he's... I mean, he's a good athlete. He's you know he's five eleven, one eighty five, plays free safety, but he hasn't really been on the field. He's been uh, yeah. He, he started as a freshman at corner, yeah, and then he transferred to school because he wanted to go to the big boy school. Mm -hmm. So he had to sit out half the season, then he couldn't get on the field. But now he's starting. But um, I, I don't know. The projections, I guess, I don't know how that shit works. Well, he's got Brian Erlich. It's Brian Erlich's son. Yeah, I get it, but still, you need to fucking do something before you start getting scholarship fired. At least when when we played, you did. I don't know about you, but for me, I had to. Oh, I definitely had to. I mean, that was before <laughs> rivals and twenty four seven and all that stuff. Like, you were sending you were sending out VHS tapes. Sure. If I got any letters in the mail from any school, I was like, "Holy shit, I got a letter from something." Yeah. Never from anything, but you know, now that's if you don't get an offer, you ain't shit. That's the way they, they look at it, I guess. I didn't know. I didn't know that you grew up in Washington. Well, I was I was born there, but I grew up in New Mexico. Okay, so I moved. That makes more I sense. moved to yeah, yeah. I moved to New Mexico when I was seven. My parents got divorced, but I was born up in. Uh, Pasco, Tri Cities area, okay. area, yeah. And then you played about every position on the field in high school. Free safety and, and receiver. Yeah, a little bit. Of, I mean, you know, we run some trick shit with the sure. running back stuff, but mostly just receiver and, and free safety. I should have been a quarterback. I'd still be playing right now. <laughs> How, you see I, my arm? You see I, my I, arm, I, Jay? Oh, oh, I've seen your arm. I've definitely you fucking seen know. Arm. I got a good arm. It. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we're about. We're about. I mean, you're a little bit older than me but i mean like yeah right now like you can play football forever isn't it crazy it's insane like, these dudes are gonna play 15 20 years and not be hobbling around when they're older either it's crazy what are you drinking uh, what, milkshake? uh this bulletproof coffee thing with like mushrooms and like all kinds of all uh, kinds of shit in it you're a, you're a healthy guy aren't you i see you with your meat and your uh i mean not your meat but you're like uh uh I shouldn't say it like that. You're, you know, the meat that you eat. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've got, we got, I mean, when I was with, uh, when I was married, we, I mean, we got into it pretty hard. And then, you know, it's just, I just felt better. I lost, I mean, after I got on plane, I lost probably like 15 pounds. You know, I went from like 230 down to 215. And now but, I'm like what, two, 210, 212. Well, that's a good weight, man. You feel yeah, good I, too, right? Your body feels good? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I feel good. How do, I mean, how, how's your neck and how's everything else on you? My, my neck feels great. My fucking wrist hurt. You know that your first season, I dislocated my wrist. Yep. I and I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't bend it. That's can't the only thing. It. And when I, play, when I play golf and so I ride my bike every day out here and when I get done, my, my wrist is so stiff. Um, but other than that, man, I'm good. Feel good. Back's good. Leg, knees, no issues. How's the brain? Oh, we'll have to find out. I feel like I'm still, I mean, I, I you know, I, I, I talk to some guys and they're a little slow on their responses and the way yeah. they, yeah. you, you can tell the guys who are kind of like, 
a little slow, but I feel mm-hmm. like I'm still pretty sharp for now. You know, it hasn't um, hasn't hit me yet. What about you? You good? No issues? Yeah, I feel good. I mean, I, I mean, you know, we're we're both getting older, so like I feel like you know, yeah, you know, you kind of questioning like, is it this? Is this like start of CTE, or I'm just, or I'm just almost you know, 40, 45, and you know, I'm not yeah. gonna remember. I'm not gonna remember half the shit anymore. Well, I mean, I just think. As a, especially as a dude, I forget. I mean, even before, I, I don't. I don't have buddies that are mm-hmm. my age that didn't play football. Do forget shit all the time. So I don't know if it's just uh, being old. What are, you, are you even forty yet? No, next year. Next year, Jeez, young shooter. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I'm still pretty sharp for the most part. But there are some guys that we played with that I know that are still a little, uh, a little slow with the responses. And I feel like a lot of the. I mean, most of these guys that you hear you know, in the news, killing themselves and doing all that stuff. Like there's usually some other issue that's happening that, that, that goes along yeah. with it. Or, or substance possibly yeah. involved with that, with that decision as well. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You know, how about, um, were you there with, um, Marion Barber? You were there. Yeah. The, the other yeah, 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 you, yeah. you broke, you broke your thumb. Yep. How about that? that? That was crazy, man. I saw that on the news. I couldn't believe it. I read, I, and then I just saw like, it was like, they claimed like heat exhaustion or something he, like that. He, they said he used to train in a sauna and he is, they went to his apartment. It was 91 degrees, which is, I mean, I live, it's 110 here. And yeah. I read my, and I don't get heat. I just, it's, a, it's weird to me. It's some suspicious shit going on right now. These guys passing away, all these athletes, especially. And there's been a lot, there's been a flurry of them in the past, you know, month, two months. And like, there's been, not been a lot of explanations. Zero. I wonder why that is. It's weird. Well, NFL is a big hmm. program, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't who know. Who the you, hell knows? They, are, they keep a lot of things secret. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Did you see Desha- Deshaun Watson's uh, ruling today? Six games for yeah. that? Fuck. A little slap on the wrist. And it, what, But they, they structured his contract where he's only making a million bucks this year anyway, right? Yeah. So I, either way, I, he was. I, it didn't. Like, yeah, really I think. Yeah, I think they could have avoided it um, if it would if it got really bad. But I mean, yeah. 22, 23 women, you only get six games. I mean, but I, I agree with you. But what what do you do? There's no legal. I mean, I mean, well, well I think that's why he six games. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, because he, he really didn't do shit. <laughs> you no. know, if, if you want to look at it from a, the legal side of it, he didn't do shit because they're all settled out of court. They're all civil cases, and he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I mean. The law. Exactly. I mean, it's moral, moral and ethical problem. If that, if yeah. you want to get down, if you want to go down that road, but yeah, we we both know that the NFL is the law anyway, so it doesn't matter what what the real law says. Exactly. Yeah. Are you yeah. guys still in COVID down there, or what's it like down there? Fuck no, man. Um, <laughs> I don't even. We don't. It's not even like a topic. I mean, I don't know how it is in Nashville, but um, I mean, you don't you don't see masks. You don't see. When I it's funny, I was in New York last week, and I'm walking to the airport, and there's like. Half the people with a mask on. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Maybe maybe it's for the monkeypox or something like that, or something else that's coming out. I don't know. I, I just I don't understand it. But we were even during the China virus, like lockdowns and shit. We were still um, pretty much open. Yeah, that's how Arizona was, Arizona was great. Like Nashville, Nashville proper. You know, they they a couple of places shut down, yeah. obviously. But like out where I'm at, I it didn't exist. It wasn't a thing. Are you are you in Franklin? Or are you yeah, on the yeah, other yeah. side? Yeah. Franklin, I'm on the south side. So my agent, uh, Bill Johnson, lives out in Franklin. I love yeah. that place. It's nice. I see Bill all the time. Dude, I love that dude. Yep. He's the greatest. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, when I went out there, I went out to visit him uh, probably a year and a half ago. There, yeah, there was nothing. There was um, nothing. You wouldn't know. It's the way it should be. We were just cool. in. We were just in Montana um, this past weekend, and we flew through Denver, and there was, there were there. Brendan, there was more people than I thought that that would have masks on now, getting on planes really? to the airports and stuff. Here's what I've noticed when I fly commercial. It's um, so if you leave from a city, so you say you leave from Arizona, they look at like two percent of the plane with masks on. When I flew to Chicago and flew out of Chicago, half the plane had masks on. Yeah. So half the people from uh, it's weird. It's really do we, do you go back to Chicago much? Try not to. I, I get back there. Well, my, well, I say I shouldn't say that. My yeah. brother and sister still live there, so I go back and see my nieces um, when I and my brother and sister. But I, I may go back there three times a year, maybe. Yeah, I was I was yeah. there for um, the Fourth of July, and there was I think seventy one shootings on the south side, and plus the obviously Highland Park. Where were yeah. you? Were you downtown or were you, were you I was, up north? I was, I, was, I was downtown. Okay, yeah, it's it's scary, man. I try, I try to stay away from there, especially with the, now you can't go anywhere anymore. So Waukegan just had a bunch of shootings last weekend as well. My sister told me. Really, it's terrible, man. Yeah. So you went to, did you want to go to University of New Mexico? Or how'd that happen? I wanted to go to Texas Tech, but they didn't give me a scholarship, man. They told me I could walk on. 
fuckers. I went to their camp before my senior year, and I was the most outstanding camper. And like 500 kids, and then I was like, I'm going to go to Texas Tech for sure. Yeah. And then they're like, you can walk on if you want to go here. I was like, I can't fucking afford that. What am I going to do? <laughs> so <laughs> New Mexico offered me a scholarship, and that was a pretty simple decision. And But you were a safety when you came in. They, they put me at linebacker. I was number, so my freshman year, they told me to go to whichever meeting you want to go to, whether it's safety, linebacker, or receiver. And I wore, I wore number 80 my freshman year, so I went to the receiver room. And then I got moved <laughs> to linebacker like two weeks later. So, were you were you were you were you always that tall? Were you tall? At, were you six four or six five? Whenever you got in, when you, when you yeah, started I, as a freshman in college, yeah. So I was six four uh, my junior and senior year in high school. I was one eighty five, one ninety, but I was sure. six four. Yeah. And then I, I got to I got to my freshman. Year, I was six four, two hundred five when I got to uh, UNM. I remember. I, re, I yeah. I remember. I remember watching you in college, and uh, you were you returned punts. You did everything. That shows you how bad we were, Jay. If they got me returning <laughs> punts and me and me playing receiver and doing all that, do not. So I literally, I I played all four special teams, mm -hmm. and I probably played twenty snaps of offense per game and defense. I was so fucking tired after games. Oh, I was bet. done. Yeah. Finished. Oh, I was done, man. Um, but yeah, you know, if I if I didn't go there, I definitely don't get drafted where I got drafted. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, you got to showcase everything that you can possibly do on a football field. Yeah, I got to be a football player. You know, yep. I got to be an athlete out there. Uh, but yeah, there's if I go to Tech or somewhere else, I definitely don't get that opportunity. And then, did you go to the was, did you go to the combine? I did. I did everything. I wasn't gonna do shit at the combine because back yep. then, you know, everyone's like, "Don't run, don't do yep. this, don't do that, do yep. it your pro day." I was like, "That's what I'm gonna do." Yeah. And I got there, and Coach Blosh, who you don't know, was a D coordinator at the Bears. He goes, <laughs> "Why aren't you running?" I, he goes, "What do you got to hide?" I go, "Nothing. I just um, I was instructed not to run." Are you slow? Are you not in shape? I was like, "No." And then um, he said, "Well, you know that every GM and every coach and every scout's here." They're not going to be at your pro day. Yeah. I was like, "Fuck, you're right." So I ran. Let's go. <laughs> I did everything, and I ran a four, like a four, five, seven, or something like that, which wasn't great, but good enough. Absolutely. Did you on the did, slow turf? That was on the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, I'm calling that, it slow. That stuff. That stuff used to be concrete. It I, did. Oh I, yeah. I, I hated playing in that place. You, you never played at the old Philly Stadium, but the vet, no. my rec, my rookie year, we played at Phillies. That was a shithole. That turf right there. You, so did you ever play? You probably didn't because they had the, the new turf when you came into the league, right? In 06 Who? or 07. Everybody. Uh, some people did. I played, uh, I think St. Louis might have still had that that garbage. The hard shit. Atlanta yeah. still had it for a while. But uh, I, the vet was bad. Yeah, never played Never played on that one. Yeah, good Good for you. They, they had just kind of started transition. When I got to Denver, it was like a blend of – Different grasses Ooh, and then a little bit yes. of that woven plastic stuff in there. You know, I mean, that's the good stuff. That's the great stuff. Well, I feel like Green Bay had some of that too because their field was yeah. always pretty good in the in the winter time. Well, I mean, and those two those two stadiums like they wouldn't have a million different things on it like Soldier Field did. Yeah, I mean, we had so much shit. They, they were, but I guess they did the best they could, man. <laughs> I don't know. I guess. <laughs> poor poor Robbie. Oh no! Always, always complain. Always complain about the field, but never missed the kick. Exactly. What uh, What do you think about what do you, what do you, what do you, he's so good. What do you think about, um, what do you think about them moving Soldier Field, getting out of Soldier Field? Um, it's going to be, if they do, it's going to be weird, but I don't blame them because they'll make more money. You know, oh, the yeah. NFL is all about money. If they move, they'll get more, more money brought in, more of the revenue or whatever, because I think the city gets it all right now from yeah. what I understand. So yep. fuck, why not, man? If you're going to build it and if people's, people are still going to go because it's the Bears, so why not? Oh yeah. Just don't put a, just don't. Don't put a dome on that thing. Don't put a dome on your stadium. They can't do it. Well, they're going to, so they can get a Super Bowl. Who the fuck wants to be in Chicago in February? Nobody. Well, I mean, who wanted who wanted to be in New York in February? They pulled it off. But they got they, great weather in February. It was perfect. It was until perfect. the night until the night after the game. How about uh, the one they had in Detroit in 05? Detroit that one sucked too. Minnesota had in, one. In in uh, that's the year I got inducted the hall. The they did the Hall of Fame thing. We were there. It was fucking freezing. Really? Um, and the Indy got one. It was like 60 degrees every day. Yeah, yeah. But I don't, they can't. Chicago ain't getting no Super Bowls. Too fucking cold. Ah, uh, I mean that's. I mean that's mm -hmm. one of the. That's one of the reasons they're trying to do it. Just, they, they want to because right now Soldier Field's the smallest stadium in the NFL. Yeah. And doesn't and doesn't have a dome and the field and the turf sucks. So, yeah. <laughs> if they would just put the synthetic in, who cares? Although I, I do like playing on, I like natural grass for, I mean, it feels oh, better I, on your body when, I, when you I, fall. I hated playing on that synthetic stuff. It's the worst. 
it, it hurt, man. And you got those little pellets that come up there every time you uh, those little black ones. Every time you land. Yep. Like you get stuck on it. Did yep. you know? Did you know Chicago was going to draft you? Everything. Mel, Mel Kiper pegged it his first little mock draft thing after the season was over. He pegged me going to number nine of the Bears. And really? So I, I, and I took a visit there. I took like four or five visits. Like Jets, Giants, there. I took one more. I don't remember where it was, but yeah, I had a good idea. And then, you know, you, but you never know until you until you no. get drafted. No. Yeah. Were you at home or where were you? I was in Albuquerque. Um, my, my hometown is like 300 miles from there, but everyone came up to to uh, Albuquerque for the uh, for the big day. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And th- when they brought you in, they brought you in as Sam? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was so bad. I um, Are we recording right now? Yeah. Oh, geez. I didn't even know that. Nice job. <laughs> um, we're just talking. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, um, they brought me in as Sam, but they, they, I think the long-term goal was to put me in Mike, but I, the best way to get on the field was to play Sam. And I, uh, I was not good. Who was, was the Mike? Who was the Mike? Barry Minter. Barry uh, was Barry been there like six that. or seven years. He was good. Yeah. Um, and then I got beat out second week by Roosevelt Colvin, Purdue guy. Uh, Rosie was good. He should never been on. He should never been behind me in the first place. He I remember him. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? He went, so he went to the Patriots and then yep. he went, ended up at Houston for a year. He got yep. a couple of rings with the Patriots. I remember them. But um, he beat me out. He should never. He should have never been behind me in the first place. And then I sat on the bench for training camp or first couple of preseason games. I, I was the third down, Mike. So I'd go on, on nickel situations and play, and Barry would come off. And then Barry gets hurt in week two, second quarter versus Tampa. Greg Blosh <laughs> says, go in and play Mike. I was like, huh? I never played Mike. It was just run to the football. We'll, we'll fix it later. And yeah. I, never, I started every game after that. No kidding. Yep, crazy. So if Barry doesn't, if Barry doesn't get hurt, who knows what happens? Eh, I think it probably would have worked out at some point. <laughs> it may have, but maybe not as soon. I bet you I'm not rookie of the year if he doesn't get hurt. Goodness, that's nuts! How that stuff comes together like that. So weird, man. I um, because I I never even taken a um a mic a mic snap other than third down just until I got in there uh, versus Tampa in the second half. Who was the never coach? There? A snap Who was the coach then? Ger- it was Dick Geron and, and Greg Glosh was our D coordinator. D- Dick right. Geron was a great coach. We had we had a really good staff back then. It was it was they were fun to play. So just like Lovey's, they were all good dudes. <clears throat> when, what, what defense were you guys running then with Dick? We ran a four. Four three. Four we three. Same. So so when Lovey came in, we were still Greg was a cover two as well. It was different than Lovey's because I didn't have to run down the middle every damn time for mm-hmm. uh, for Greg's defense. I and mean, Lovey changed it to a couple years in, but uh it was still cover two. But the but Greg's defense, we had Ted Washington and Key Trailer. You know those two names? Oh hell yeah. Ted uh, three, oh tr- tr- Tractor played in Denver for a while. Yeah, Tractor came but, over to Denver for us. So Tractor's three sixty, Ted's three seventy. So the A B both we're, A and B gaps. Didn't done. exist. They were, <laughs> they were done. Just run to the football. That's all I did. Yeah. <laughs> Uncut with Jay Cutler is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Let's face it, sometimes multitasking can be a little overwhelming. Like when your favorite podcast is playing and the person next to you is talking and your car fan is blasting, all while you're trying to find the perfect parking spot. But then again, sometimes multitasking is easy, like quoting with Progressive Insurance. They do the hard work of comparing rates so you can find a great rate that works for you, even if it's not with them. Give their nifty comparison tool a try and you might just find getting the rate and coverage you deserve is easy. All you need to do is visit Progressive's website to get a quote with all the coverages you want, like comprehensive and collision coverage or personal injury protection. Then you'll see Progressive's direct rate and their tool will provide options from other companies all lined up and ready to compare, so it's simple to choose the rate and coverages you like. Press play on comparing auto rates. Quote at Progressive.com to join the over 27 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. I remember when Tractor came over, and he might have come He might have come from Chicago. I forget where he came from. But uh, yeah. we, we had a uh, our, uh, our uh, head, uh, head guy there that uh, worked in the weight room. He he wanted to run. He wanted to run everybody. So in the summer, like we were we were a track team. I mean, we ran yeah. and ran and ran and ran. And Tractor, he'd get out there, and I mean, he it literally became just like power walking for him. And his big ass, really? oh, he was just like <laughs> just walking. And finally, he'd be like, "I'm done. Like, just if I if you don't want me to play, I won't play." And That's then Shan- yeah. And then Shanahan stepped in, and obviously he took. Because I mean, Lynch was there, Champ Bailey was there. 
Yeah. We I mean, Al Wilson. I mean, we had some. We had an old. We had some dudes, man. Oh yeah, we had some. Dang. Rod I forgot Smith. how. I, Rod Al Smith. Wilson, Rod Smith. Yeah. McCaffrey was there. Was he still there? Uh uh-uh. uh He was gone. No, he was gone. Um. Gosh, we had. We. I mean, we were old team, which was which was awesome because Shanahan, like those good those dudes. I mean, he was like lovely. Like those dudes would practice in the morning, wouldn't practice in the afternoon. And then the next day we'd have morning practice and then like a walkthrough in the afternoon. So, I mean, it was. So he took care of them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like. In turn took care of everybody, I guess. Right. Yeah. If we had two, if we had, if we had two a days, the afternoon practice, the old guys would just uh, go in the weight room, work out, come back out, watch a little practice and watch the team. Yep. And then, and then special teams that there's a big special teams practice on those days. And like a lot of times, I got lumped in with some of those older dudes, so we would bounce out of camp and go yeah. and go Jeez. go 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 get lunch, go get dinner, and yeah. have have some drinks and stuff, and then come back for meetings. So it was it was so, it was awesome. Damn, so training camp wasn't that bad for you then back uh-uh. then? No, not at all. I guess it, but it makes sense if you got a head coach who understands his team yeah. and, and the players on his team, then they, they're going to take care of those guys, right? Yeah, and I mean it was it was one of those things like Shanahan that trusted us. Like if we didn't perform. Shit's changing. Pads are going back on, and we're we're gonna grind yeah, it out, for sure. But and you started you started right away, right? You were the starter your first year. No, I started. Um, so who, Jake, who was, who, Jake, Jake oh, Plummer Jake was there. Plummer, that's yeah. right. I forgot about Jake. And they, what they was were, your rookie? What was your rookie year? Two thousand six. Okay, we didn't play all that. Well, you, we played you in Chicago uh, <laughs> two years later. <laughs> Unbelievable game. Oh man, yeah, that was a good game for uh, for y'all. You guys scored like thirty eight points on us and lost, right? And lost, yeah. Was and it lost. KO? Was KO our quarterback? Yep. I think he was. I think it was Kyle. Yep. That's the that's the game I kicked the ball. Yep. Um, out of Scheffler, uh, Scheffler, um, Chef Tony Scheffler made it. Made an unbelievable catch yep. in the end zone, and then you kicked the ball, and I still touch it. But we we kept kicking to yeah. Hester. Oh, we ran two back that game, right? Two back that game, and we yeah. were out. Was heated because I think we went up. We went up. I think we had a touchdown called back and B Marsh. Um, and then we kept kicking to Devin and he just kept, I mean, just gone. It's like, what are we doing here, guys? Fuck, you know, Tobe was so good at even if you if you kicked away from Devin, somehow he'd find a way to get the ball in his hands. It was unreal. Really Tobe was the man, he still is the man. But yeah, they always he always found a way to, to practice that shit and found a way to get the ball in Devin's hands no matter what teams were trying to do, because he expected him to kick away from him. Yep. So he returned two. You guys tied it up. Um, with almost no time left, we went to overtime, and you guys, really? you, you guys, you guys, you guys went. To, we didn't even touch the ball. You guys went to the length of the field, and uh, the field goal. And uh, no, 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 no. It touchdown. was. Uh, I think it was a touchdown, but I think I think to tie it. I know what happened to tie it up to go into overtime. Who was the receiver then? Um, big dude. Uh, came from Carolina. Um, oh, Moose Muhammad. Moose Moose. Yeah, it was. Moose. It, it was fourth down. Da- it was fourth down, on like the five, and KO back shouldered him on Champ Bailey to tie it up. Oh wow! So you gotta, you remember that game a lot better. Now, that season was kind of we were we weren't that good that season, so I don't really remember that one that well. You asked me about the good years. I remember all those years. Oh yeah, that's easy to remember those years. I remember the good years. <laughs> the bad ones are kind of fade away a little easier than the good ones do. Exactly. I remember. When, I remember when I got to Chicago. And I mean, your the defense was disgusting. Yeah, we, we were solid. Yeah. I was thinking about this the other day, Jay. So, the, for your first year, I got hurt, and broke my wrist, missed yep. the whole season. Yep. Your second year, we go to the MC Championship game. Uh huh. Your third year, you get hurt. You uh, you busted your thumb up week broke my thumb. ten. Yeah, we were like uh, eight and we, we were like we were eight and two, eight we were nine seven and one, three. Or seven and three. We were seven and three. We went up eight and eight after you yep. got hurt. Yep. And then your last season, we were both healthy, or I wouldn't call me healthy, but I was yep. on the field. We were yep. ten and six. Yep. Yeah. And then they split. It, and then they busted our team up. They got yep. rid of Lovey. Or they got rid. Of, well, what they fucked up was they got rid of Jerry Angelo. Yep. The year before, and then yep. they started busting our team apart. Yep. Terrible. Yeah, and then you weren't there for the Trustman years, so that that was uh, that was a that was a wild ride. I heard those were some fun years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm not mad that I missed those years. Uh, I mean, I Mark, definitely retired at the right time. Mark was Mark was Mark Mark tried. I mean, he but I mean, you know as well as I do. Like you go into a locker room and you don't have the respect of the guys. Like especially the older guys, it's it's over. Yeah, 
And that, and that was a veteran football team too, right? You guys were still pretty <laughs> yeah. old, old as we would call it now. Yeah, we were we were veteran guys, and but we had we had some dudes with some some serious attitudes, like some guys that, you know, I mean, some dudes that like, if you didn't if you didn't kind of hold their hand and walk them through it, like they were like, oh, fuck, "Fuck this, I'm out." So, really, it was, oh. yeah, it was it was it was a different time, and then you know, Lance was still like, "Why is Lance going to make the Hall of Fame?" I don't know. I, you know, what about Peanut? How about yep. Owen? Yep. I mean, there, there's so many guys, I, there, and in, I, I'm not trying to advocate for so many guys. Ever, I, the, the voting thing is so fucked up to me. The way they do it, it drives me crazy. Every year, they put guys in. I'm like, they, they should be in there. The guys that get in, but don't get me wrong. But there's other guys that I feel like should go in before them. It just, and, and then it comes down to when you, your last year on the ballot. So we, oh, we got to get him in. It's his last year. Well, if you're not, if you don't deserve to be in there, don't put him in there just because it's his last fucking year on the ballot. Yeah, have a reason to be in there. If yeah, he, if he deserves to be in there, be in there before now. Pisses yeah. me off. Will Devin get in? Yeah, you I think, mean, you think I, so? I, I did. I think you. I didn't think he would get in last year. It's hard to get on the first ballot, I mean, yeah. especially I would think as a specialist. Yep. But I think. I mean, shit, you saw what he did. You you know how good he was. He was oh, the best yeah. to ever do it in his position. I don't see how you yeah. can't put him in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I mean, he, he changed. He changed the game a lot uh, with what he what he, what he could do. And I mean, he won games sometimes single handedly by touching the ball twice. No doubt. Yeah, like, there's no. I mean, like you guys beat us when I was in Denver. Yep. I mean, because of him, he, he, he touched the ball twice. We couldn't stop you guys on offense. We couldn't stop you guys. No, we you were. Guys, that's, you guys run that stupid ass option play too. You would. That's the first time I ever saw the option in the NFL. That I re- you know what we kept doing? Like we, so pissed. we did. I think we ran it like I'd have to ask Shanahan, but I, I think we ran it like six times. We kept doing, we kept doing the like the fullback dive, and then the yeah. fake dive pitch. And we we kept doing that flip flop flip flop and flip flop and, and then we did and then we did uh we faked the dive, we faked the pitch and then we went back the other way with the option and yes, and there was a couple you kept and I was like it was just you know we hadn't seen that yeah I don't know I don't, and then now everyone does it but we, back then yeah. it was shit it was like I was like who the hell has the football because you don't practice it you don't mm-hmm. it's just uh, you don't see it and you know I hadn't seen this since college so it was, it was frustrating. And that's one where we started. We we started that year doing uh, the RPO stuff too. I mean, we we weren't as we weren't all over it like they are now. But we were doing yeah. the bubbles and some of the some of the strikes and stuff like that. Which which off off the zone running game, which what we were running, was hard to yeah. stop. The, the zone, that zone running game that Shanahan had <clears throat> was unbelievable. I don't remember who y'all's running back was that year, but that zone running game was a bitch to stop. I don't. And, well, I mean, that, you know, I mean, when we got you in Chicago, why didn't we do that stuff with you? You're unbelievable. You're, you're a great. You're athletic as hell. Get you on the edge. I, I mean, I know we didn't want to get you hit because we didn't have a backup. But damn, yeah. I uh, I was always so frustrated, especially looking back now that we didn't get you. When I see these quarterbacks doing it now, you, you could have done that shit easy. Yeah, I mean that's what we did in Denver, and which was which was fun. I mean, but I mean we just were we were built a little bit different in Chicago, and I mean that's when I got there. I looked at the offense and I was like, oh, this is this is gonna be dicey. This is this is <laughs> yeah. we're when not. We have a receipt when we got there. We, we had. It was Greg there? Greg was there. Greg was there. Um, yeah, Greg, good offensive line. I feel like Olin was there. So Olin, Olin was there. Line. Olin yeah. was there. So protection wise, we were always pretty sound. Um, yeah. But you know, on the outside, I don't, that first year, I don't even know who we I'm had. I'm trying like, to think too. Like we, at some point, we like. I mean, at some point, we we brought Devin over. Yeah. Look at, oh gosh, who I, was I, I, dude, I don't This is terrible. Team. I don't. I don't remember. It's well, just bad, Rashid, uh, Rashid, it's bad Rashid that Davis. I, Rashid was there. Um, was shit. Johnny Knox had got hurt the year before, I think. Or I don't know. We did not. We did not. We didn't have him yet. Okay. So we didn't John, have Johnny we, was a badass. I, I think we. I think we uh, drafted him maybe that year, and maybe he okay. might have been a rookie. Here we go. I pulled. I pulled it up. Let's see who that. All right, here we go. Team. Here we go. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, Earl was there. Earl Bennett. Oh, your boy. That's your boy. Your your yep. real boy. Uh, Devin. Ramashadu. Oh yeah, yeah, number eleven. I like yep. that. Yep, nineteen. No, oh, same thing. Yep, we drafted. Uh, you won't even remember this, dude. We drafted Joaquin uh, Iglesias from Oklahoma that year. Number seventeen. I remember him. I remember him more from college than I do in the NFL. How about that? Exactly, because I mean, he was yeah. <laughs> he was he got there, and I mean, great kid, but he was a yeah, little bit super sl- nice kid. So kind of slow. Didn't really want to go. Uh, Johnny, we dra- I guess we dra- drafted Johnny, so he was a rookie. Uh, okay. Um, Kellen Davis. A tight end. Yep. Big yep. Kellen. Desmond Clark. T-Reg. Desmond was good too. Desmond so we had some good. really good tight ends. 
We had some good tight ends outside. We were yeah. a little, we were a little, uh, we were young. We were just young and unexperienced. Young. Yeah. yeah. So no moose, no, uh, no nope. Booker. Booker was the shoot. They got rid of Booker early on. Yeah. So we, got yeah, we, we had none of those dudes. Mm. Um, so, I mean, and, and, and the system was a little bit simpler, I would say. So who was our coordinator? Who's our OC? Ron Turner. Was it Coach Turner still? Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, good. Okay. So, I like yeah, we want, And all we want to do is run the ball. Who was our yep. running back? Running backs were, uh, gosh, who were the running uh, backs? Cedric, Cedric was gone, wasn't oh, he? No. He oh, no. Oh, God. But we're, we're idiots. We had Forte. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah. so, so, I played most of my career. Thomas Jones was there. You didn't play with Thomas. No. No. Big beast. Yeah. Beast. Yeah. That dude was a, And then they traded him, though, because uh, – we went to the Super Bowl. He had a great season. Let's just trade him for a fourth round pick to the Jets. Smart. Yeah. yeah I mean, if we if, if we could do it over, we should have pounded yeah. the ball, ton of play action, got in the corners, you know, rolled out, done all that <laughs> stuff. Especially with our receiver yeah. group. Like we we had no business going three or four wide and trying to pitch the ball down the field. Like we weren't gonna get open. Yeah, which I'm not gonna say. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, maybe it wasn't the best game, but we all we're always good at running the football. That's for sure. Plus, Matt was like a receiver out of the backfield. Matt, Matt was a pretty formidable target out of the backfield. Oh gosh, yes. I mean, I think after you were gotcha. gone, that first or second year with Trustman, I think he caught like 107 balls or something crazy. Did they trade him? Did they trade him to the Jets or something like that right away? <clears throat> I was. Or they cut him. Or they. No, he. I I finished my last year. I, he was still there, and then and then they contract or something, and I, they yeah. traded him or whatever, whatever whatever they did with him. Yeah. So, so when was your last year? Was it fourteen, fifteen? No, my last year there was sixteen. So you played eight years there. Yeah. Damn, dude! I didn't realize you were there that long. Eight, eight, That's eight, eight years. Eight great. How many head coaches? Three. Three head coaches and about and about wait, five talks. five or six OCs. OCs, yeah, that's what's tough right there. People people don't realize you may get you may have the same head coach, but if you yeah. change OCs or DCs, if they oh, change yeah. the system, yeah, that's hard, man. The hardest thing for me was terminology. Yeah, yeah, because they're all the same. They're all the same players. Oh, same stuff. The term, yeah, but the terminology is what gets you. Yeah, you you might call something apple with one, and then another one it's banana and like you're in the huddle saying yeah. apple and they're like they're like we don't even know what the hell that is what's that yeah where'd yeah. that come from yeah yeah exactly right. well our defense is always it was always so with greg blosh our defense was outlaw two for cover mm -hmm. two and with coach uh smith it was over two <laughs> so that was super hard difference yeah those yeah. and those pretty pretty tough man well i mean you guys got to a point like you guys could run that defense in your sleep like it was it was unbelievable yeah, and all we did, we literally ran cover two 60% of the time. That's how yeah. we'd run, a, if, if it was going to run, we'd run a stun up front. You know, our Pirates, uh, you know, you guys are here calling those, those uh -huh. every day in practice. But, yeah, shit, it was it was simple. They made That's why we played so good, though, because we could play fast and didn't have to think. Exactly. Yeah, playing fast and not thinking. Like, that's that's the beauty of football. And I remember I was, talk, I was talking to somebody on the defensive staff one day and um, watching the scout team, like, do, like, seven-on-seven seven versus you guys. And – because you guys played so heavy of cover two, all you guys did was practice against cover two beaters. So like you knew, yes. you knew, you knew the weaknesses of the defenses yeah. and you guys could recognize like, all right, this is a cover two beater and know where that weakness was. So like it was, it was amazing. It was, it was, it was smart to do that. Yeah. Well, they tried to dick us every day in seven offs. We knew yeah. uh, third, third and 11 or 12, they're going to run the charger route with the dolphin where they bring number three up to me and set him yeah. down yeah. and try and sneak two and behind me. It's just, yeah. They always uh, they gave us the hardest in our walk. Just in our walkthroughs, I know you guys were doing your thing, but mm -hmm. our walkthroughs they gave Coach Marinelli and, and you know Levy back there were on the damn scout team, giving us the hardest plays that we're going to yeah. see. Yeah, it didn't matter, and it and it every week it didn't matter what the offense did because we knew what plays beat our defense, so that's all we practiced. Exactly. There's certain plays obviously that certain offenses do, but yep. we knew the the dick knees for our defense. That's what yep. we practiced. Yeah, I mean that's it was damn near genius to do that. Um, good. It, it's yeah, it was, it was really smart. So whenever you got out, did you were, did you miss it much? You know, you know what I had a hard time with Jay was like filling my time, and yeah. I, I missed being around. I, you know, you, you're getting this routine. I'm a huge routine guy, huge yep. routine guy. And you, and you, you know, for all those years you play football, you get up, you have a purpose, something yep. to do every day. And for yeah. me, it was working out or whatever you do. Sure. Um, I miss I miss that, and I miss being I miss the, my teammates. Obviously, I miss being in the locker room, I miss being in the building. Yeah. Team Ed, Tim Bream, 
yeah. the tr the trainers, the uh, the field guys, the guys sure. who did the uh, equipment, everybody, man, the, yep. the um, video guys, the food yeah. people, every, yep. Miss D, all those people. That's yeah. who I missed. Uh, I was there for 13 years. I saw them every day, and then bam, they're gone. Yeah. My retirement wasn't like it didn't go the way some guys no. do. <laughs> mine, mine was kind of all of a sudden. So. Or yeah, not all they, of a sudden, but they, saw it coming. They, yeah, but they messed up how they handled that. That was an absolute shit show. That's the dumbest I'm thing in the entire world. I'm so happy that I retired because, like I said, Lovey was gone. Yep. You know, you talked about the Tresman years, which sure. were fun for you, but uh, yep. I'm glad <laughs> that I didn't have to go. And, you know, I felt, I felt bad for Mel Tucker because they wanted Mel to run our defense still. And yeah. Mel didn't go. And that wasn't his defense. You no, know? it wasn't so his defense. To, kind of combine our defense with his and you can't do that if, if he bring it in a D corner let him run his shit yeah change it let yep. him do his thing but they tried to run our defense because Lance would call me like hey yep even as I was out of football he's calling me like hey so in cover two you do this you do that trying to figure out what the mic does on certain plays but yeah yeah I'm glad I'm glad I was gone uh because when Lovey was gone I was uh I didn't want to be there anymore yeah Mel's Mel was Mel was such a good dude um he's he's had yes. some success I mean he's a hell of a coach <laughs> Really like that. Is it Michigan, Michigan State now, right? <clears throat> Making, I and think they he, just, I think they just, just got paid. Yeah, who got paid a like, lot? Uh, like ten years, a hundred. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was something. Yeah, it was something ridiculous. Good for something. him. Yeah, I like, yeah. I like seeing guys get paid. I don't care who. No. I like seeing people get paid. I know, I know, I know. So what, what do you, what are you doing now? Just hanging? Uh, you got anything going? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, uh, I rode my bike this morning. There you go. <laughs> so I don't do a whole lot, Jay. I'm kind of boring. Um, so my kids, I told you, my kids are, are, I got two left in high school. Riley's a senior, Kennedy's a junior, uh, high school football starts and we got a month before their first game. Do you uh, coach at all? Daughters at school. No. no. So no. I co I tried to coach him when he was like in sixth grade. Yeah. We hate each other. Man, it's oh, sucks sure. because you know, if, if you're, if you're a father coaching your son, who's, who are you going to be a hardest son? Your, your son. Yeah. Right. Your son. No doubt about it. So we would go to practice and I, I literally, I made him cry one day. I was like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? You want to make it fun for the kid. You want him to play football. So yeah. quit being an asshole. So after yeah. that, I was done. And, you know, you're cool to all the other kids. For sure. But you're yeah. a dick, you're, you're dick you're to awesome. your kids. So you're awesome like, to all the kids, other kids. Yeah, all the other kids are like, man, your dad's so cool. Uh -huh. And he's like, Kenny's like, he's like, he's a dickhead, man. So <laughs> I didn't, uh, I uh, kind of retired. I, I, I just like supporting him. I, you know, if he, I like, yeah. I'm not a, I'm at the game, I'm not a screamer. I'm, I'm more nervous I am than anything that, you know, you probably, your kids probably play sports. You just you're yeah. watching them, and when he played, he, like I said, he started as a freshman on varsity at corner. Yeah, talk about stressful. My oh, yeah. kids playing corner as a freshman on varsity, dude. I'm like, don't throw it his way. Don't throw it. It's like 37. <laughs> I'm like, please run the ball. Don't throw it towards Kennedy. But he, he had a good freshman year. He played well. He gave up one touchdown all season long as a freshman. Mm. So I was pretty pretty That's proud awesome. Of him. But, yeah. So I ride my bike. Try and ride my bike every day if I can. It's awesome. Play a lot of golf. Yeah. Um, you know, Arizona's. Amazing because the weather it's going to be sunny every single day. So yep. we try and spend a lot of time outside. I go to Florida quite a bit. We go fishing. Um, but that's about it, Jay. You're just living life. Yeah, I haven't got bored yet. There are some days where I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do today, man? I'm kind of yeah. bored. Uh, yeah. But other than that, and I watch a lot of TV during the day. Huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no soap, nothing like that. But I uh, I find ways to fill my time. To, to I love try it. And stay busy. I, right. My number one thing when I retired, Jay, I didn't want to get fat, dude. Yeah. I it's either it, it's either one of the, it's one of the two options. Like you see guys either blow up, yes. or or get a, or get a little bit skinnier. Yeah. Or how about Olin losing like fifty pounds? Olin yeah. looks tremendous. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I did not want to go the other direction. So I, uh, the first couple of years, I just walked on the treadmill because I hate running. So I would walk on yeah. the treadmill at an incline, and then I figured out mountain biking, and that's now I'm addicted to to biking. That's what I do, and I no more lifting, push ups, and sit ups is all yeah. I do. I'm the, I'm the same way. I'm like, why? Like, who who am I? What am I trying to prove? Like, why am I putting... Do I have a game coming up? Yeah, no. Like, something coming up? No, nothing. No. Hell no. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't do any of that stuff anymore. How many miles do you ride? Today I did 28. Oh, Yesterday damn. I did 40. Um, just depends. I'm trying to get five... I'm trying to average 500 miles a month for this year, which wow. will give me 6,000 miles. Yeah. Uh, I fell short last month. I was too much traveling, man. I, you huh. know, it's hard when I go... When I go to Florida, it's good because I have a bike at my house down there. Yeah. But when I go to other places, it's hard to – and I hate riding in places I don't know because I'm not going to ride a bike in New York. Yeah. I was just there. No, I don't yeah. trust people. Yeah, I don't trust people that much. Dude. Oh, me neither. I, I get stressed riding my bike out here on the road, but I, I, yeah. we have canals here I can go on and be safe. But, um, yeah, so I try to – I probably average 110, 115 miles a week and just uh, – I love it. It's fun. That's and awesome. Lose, you know, I'll, I'll lose seven, eight pounds in a bike ride. That's amazing. I mean, there's a lot of dudes that got like Ray Lewis rides a bike. 
Yeah, I saw that. I saw it on, uh, I don't know, I was watching some show and I saw Ray riding. Bo, ja Bo, Bo Jackson rides down Bo's like south. Pretty. Yeah. Yep. Just think of the impact on your, there's no, the low impact on your yeah. muscles, on your yeah. joints. Like the, my, my knees don't hurt, my shoulders. Now, if obviously when I'm mountain biking, I fall sometimes like yeah. a jackass, but um, I haven't got hurt too bad. I broke my wrist in Hawaii um, five years ago on a yeah. road bike. I crashed pretty hard and broke my left wrist, but other than that, I've been pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you're also a genetic freak show, so you're. I think you're going to be fine for a long time. Not anymore. I'm not, dude. Please, Man, it, dude. 44 years old. I'm. A, I can feel it. it, it can you? Are you? I, tell me. Ahead. Tell me. Tell me. How's your ping pong game? Oh, it's good. Is it? Is it so, strong? I'm. I'm glad you asked. So my kids now. <laughs> so we'll go out. We, we have our little casita here with our ping pong table set up, and my my uh -huh. two youngest kids. We get some battles going, man. We'll get some doubles going out there. Um, We'll literally go out there and play for two hours. Yeah, and th these two are good. Are they? Like my well, my they don't. They don't have a choice because you're, you're you're you're. Oh, he beat you. He beat me for the first time. Oh, I want to say it was like six months ago. I was so dis. I was I was happy for him, obviously, but disappointed for myself. Um, yeah. But we have we have some games, man. We go back and forth out there. It's fun. Lots that was of a, shit talking. That was a, that was a fun time when we were doing those doubles in, oh. in Dallas. That was a blast. Well, what was better than that? Because you, you, anytime we got out of our meetings, it was like yeah. sprint to the game room. Sprint to, to the game room. Pong. You, you get your partners. Who do you think, besides me, was yeah. the best player? I mean, Robbie was good. Robbie was really good. He was good. He was good. Um, so I mean, oh, he, you weren't there with Kyle. You weren't there with Kyle. No. Uh -uh. I'm thinking, I'm th I was like, you forgot about Kyle, but you weren't there with Kyle. No wonder no. you didn't. You didn't. Uh -uh. So Kyle was pretty good. Uh, I still beat his ass, but uh, B -Marsh Robbie was, was probably the best. Robbie was, Robbie was. B Marsh was B Marsh B Marsh was streaky. Yeah, but but I mean the, guy, the guys still always tell you how good they are are, are yeah. the ones that aren't yeah. good. Aren't good. I, let me Remember see Anthony Adams. Oh yes, tell you how good he was and you just smoke him. It's yeah, terrible. I mean the thing with Robbie was like while we're in meetings he'd just be in there just playing ping pong or playing working on work, or working on his putting game. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I play with Robbie in some of these events, uh, these like celebrity events they have. The one in Tahoe, there's one uh -huh. in Dallas they have every year. And uh, Robbie's Robbie's what seventeen years in a long Something time. Like that. So this will be eight. This might because his rookie year was two thousand five when we went to uh, we got him from the Patriots on the off their practice squad. <laughs> I didn't know that. Still can't. We got him like after a week. We were struggling with kickers early in the season, mm -hmm. so we signed him off their practice squad. They had a little tryout during the middle of the week with four guys. Robbie mm -hmm. won it, and then he was there. You know, so it should still be there in my opinion. Uh, it's I mean they've 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 mishandled you know a lot of you guys I mean, that's just it's just so it's bad man it's it's silly I mean R Robbie Robbie would talked a lot so like I think he just kind of pissed some yeah. people off <laughs> I agree but, yeah. but, it's, but it comes down to a point like we're in Chicago it's hard as hell to kick there anyway just yes. figure it out with the dude you know let make like, amends let it be yeah, it's got to be production over whatever else he had going on, right? Because his production yeah. was there, man. The two was um, in, in that stadium. He's got to be the best kicker of all time in Soldier Field, I would think. He didn't uh, miss, yeah. man. Yeah, it's, it's it, 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 yeah, it has to be. Yeah, he you was. You know what's amazing these days? It's like fifty-yard field goals or nothing now. It's a, it's chip, like a shot. chip shot for these guys. It's yeah. a chip shot. Yeah. I'm watching this game like fifty-yard field goal, and they're like, "Oh, he's made seventeen over fifty yards." I'm like, "What? Yeah. That's crazy." Yeah. They're unbelievable. Yeah, well, they're the, these well these kids now, I mean, you know, because you've got older kids, but I mean, they're playing football year-round from the age of like eight on. Yes. My son goes from football season, they get like a month off, and then they go into seven-on-seven. Seven, uh, then they're in seven-on-seven seven until they get to the end of May. And they're literally going every weekend, Jay. It's unreal. Yeah. Yeah. They got something going. Every, and it's good because, you know, they're, they're getting better, but they uh, it's organized you know, every weekend. They're going out of town or here and there. Uh, and do you worry? Do you do drives. you worry? Yeah. Do you worry about? Yeah, oh gosh, yeah. Do you worry about him getting burned out at all? Yes. So I worry about him getting hurt because he, he dislocated his kneecap uh, yeah. two years ago playing gotcha. seven on seven. Seven on seven to me is great, but there's a there's you're going for the ball every play, right? If you're a sure. corner or your safety, the, the ball's going to be contested pretty probably every play, and they should get beat. You know. So yep. I, uh, you know, in a football game, it may be once or twice actually in a real yeah, game, but exactly. seven on seven, you're contesting a pass a lot, and a lot yeah. of things happen. He dislocated his kneecap going up to contest the pass playing corner. Are they wearing so, those like uh, little those padded things? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. It depends on uh, what tournament it is, but the, uh -huh. um, I prefer there. You, you, there's a lot of uh, collisions in these seven on seven games. I'm bad. I bet. Crazy. Big Did ones. you you see the guys? They're doing that in the NFL now during practice. 
What are those things? I saw something on TV there. Didn't have these big. Like, I just yeah. I just read an, crates on there. Yeah, head. I just read an article that there's like three or four positions that have to wear them during practice okay. if they if they have pads on. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I guess they're trying yeah, to help, I, help guys. Hey man, whatever keeps them safe, right? Yeah, keep and keep, that's keep where, some that's, playing. That's where the game's that's where the game's going. Right? Everything is going to be about safety. All right, last question. Do you think you think Trump's coming back? I hope so. What about what about what about I like what about the Santas? Like Santas. Yeah, I love the Santas. So it's good. Yeah. You take you take one, I'll take the other. I, I would yeah. love it. So here's what, ideal situation for me, Jay. Yep. So Dot uh, Trump Trump runs. Yep. And he has the Santas as his VP. Yep. Trump Four comes years. in. Fi- Fixes everything that Beijing Biden broke. It'll yep. take a little while to fix all that because he fucked up some shit. And then uh, the next eight years, we get Ron DeSantis. Done. That's ideal. Oh, for that's me, a. You know? Oh, that that's a. I mean, the country's gonna be in the great state then. Yeah, because if you know Trump will come in and fix everything because he don't give a shit. Nope. And he'll put America first again, uh, us first, which we're not used to right now. But yep. Um, yeah, it's a. It's a. I'm so disappointed right now with the way this shit's going. <sighs> it's bad. It's bad, bad, it's, bad, bad, well, bad. So we live in Arizona, and we, so the border is here. Yeah. So we have all the uh, um, undocumented slash illegal people coming across. I'm okay if you get here legally. I got no problem with that. But mm-hmm. the way it's going now, it's, and there, there's nothing, there's nothing to stop them. No, nothing. So it's crazy, and they're all flooding. The crimes going up everywhere. Uh, I like the way they're shipping them to New York and to, to DC, though. That's uh, <laughs> the, uh, for some reason they're not very perceptive to that. No, <laughs> or receptive, whatever, no. <laughs> whatever the no. word is. Sometimes no. I use big words wrong. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do you think just, he's coming back? What do you think? Oh, I, he's definitely coming back. You think so? I hope you're right, man. I, ideally, it's him and and DeSantis and running for him. Yeah, with, I don't know. Him. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they get along. I mean, I, they probably. I'm sure they respect each other. I just don't know if DeSantis yeah. would ride the ticket with him or not. I mean, that'd be. But yeah. I mean, that'd be ideal. I mean, even even if we get Trump for four years. And then, Ron, and then yes. DeSantis runs. And then Ron you know, steps in. Steps in well, and does if, the next if, eight. I, I mean, I'm down with that, too. Agreed. Or, or whoever's uh, – who would be his VP if he doesn't have DeSantis? So obviously, it's not going to be Pence. <laughs> so you got to yeah. figure who's going to be his VP. We'll probably – Maybe the guy, from, the, guy from, the, guy from, the guy from South Carolina, maybe. Um, I forget his name. Um, is it Lindsey Graham? Maybe. It's not Lindsey Graham. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I, I'm awful with names. Oh, Tim Scott? Yeah. Is it Tim Scott? Maybe, uh, I don't – who the hell is that? Uh, Brand, do you know? I don't know. He's gonna look it up. Um, we'll see. I mean, I either we'll way. Play somebody good. Yeah. I mean, either way, I think Americans are kind of over what's happening now. Like, I think there's gonna be a huge ass swing going back the other way. I really hope you're right, but I don't trust the voting. So I don't trust any of that shit. You know. Oh, I, I agree. Did you watch? Did you watch Two Thousand Mules? Uh huh. Watch it. Two Thousand Mules. Two Thousand Mules. Watch it. You'll see what happened in the 2020 election. Oh, I love a good. Uh, I, I, I I love a great conspiracy. So I can seriously, it's proof. Oh, I they know. actually have proof of what happened. Uh, but it's uh, you, you have a, you're gonna have a hard time finding that one though. Oh, really? They don't want you. They oh, don't yeah. want you to see it. <laughs> so good luck finding that. But if you if you yeah. get it, you're gonna like I, it. I supported Trump on uh, Instagram, you know, back when he first ran, and my my I, 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 I mean, my Instagram has just been. <sighs> it's amazing. So I put, I posted a picture at the White House with my family uh-huh. destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. I'm like, what the hell? I didn't. I, I never. Honestly, I never even thought about politics when I played. Did you? Oh no, not at all. No, I not didn't one. Give a shit. Not I, I one bit. Not one bit. I didn't know who was running. I didn't know who the governor of any state was. I didn't care. Nope. And now, <clears throat> everyone knows who the governor is. Everyone knows who's exactly. running for this and that. Uh, it's because it's been shoved in our face for so for so exactly. long. In the last couple of years. It's crazy. Well, it's wild. I mean, I, I've got faith yeah. that uh, that Americans are going to figure this one out one way or other. But I mean, I we'll hope see. you're right. We'll see. We're gonna find out. Yep. We're, we're all gonna find out. All right, dude. Yeah. I appreciate you taking thanks. the time. Yeah. Um, it, thanks it was for having me on, Jay. It was uh, fun. It was fun catching back up. Uh, enjoy the bike and uh, that Arizona weather. Yeah. All right. Take care, brother. See you. See you. Later.